Fortnite Squad. I'm gonna be basically just showing you guys how to change like your settings to get better FPS. So let's get into it. Yeah, I'm just gonna actually show you how to configure your PC for better frames. Yeah, what you guys wanna do, there's gonna be a download link in the description where you guys can, um, it's gonna be on a paste bin. It'll be on a paste bin link like this, like I usually do download links. You'd copy the link, paste it there, and then download it. But it's gonna be this folder right here. It's gonna be like in a .raw folder, so you have to extract it with like WinRAW or 7-zip. But what it will be, it'll just be the FPS boost pack. And this is gonna be like the home better fps just um go to these fortnite priority settings the first folder in here open this and this is where you're gonna need to know what like where your cpu sits so if you have a laptop i'd go with the low end cpu and make sure you're and select this one right here if you've got like a, a medium end cpu like i don't know maybe like a, a new newer i5 i'd go with the medium end and do this one right here and then if you have a maybe like an i7 700k 4.2 gigahertz like the newest i7 like you can get um, I'll go with a high-end CPU, which is just a normal priority. Yeah, you want to pick the one that corresponds to your CPU or processor. For me, I'd pick um, normal priority, but a lot of you, if you watch this video, you probably have a low-end PC, and would we'll click um, high priority right here. So yeah, you just double-click that, and then press yes, but I don't want to do that because I've already got it, and I'm not trying to, like, you know, mess up my game. Yeah, once you guys have done that, you want to um, go back to here. You want to go here and go to command line arguments. These are, like, the basic you can get. Um... Like, everyone knows about these. If you haven't gone ready, you should seriously get them. So, what you guys want to do is, first of all, don't just copy them and put them straight in your launcher. You want to take away the 6 and just take away the 6. Literally, that simple. Um, so, it's just preferred processor. If you guys want, what I would recommend, take away no texture streaming as well. Because it, if you have a... It's down to you. If you have a really bad graphics card and your graphics card isn't too good and you're only like reaching about 100 frames right now, what you do is take away that away. But I have um I have like 200 to 300 frames anyway, so I'm gonna keep that in. Actually no, for the purposes of the video, I'll take it away. What you guys wanna do? Make sure you copy all of them. Just open up your Epic Games Launcher. And now you've opened it up, you want to go to Settings right here. Um, scroll down to where you see Manage Games and Fortnite. Drop the little arrow down. And then what you want to do is just um, tick this box here. And then Control V. Or, or just like Control V. Or just do Paste here. And then Paste with the command line argument in. Once you've done that, you can just go back and then cross out. There you go. They've basically just been applied. That'll just give you a game that extra little forms it needs. For example, like Available Cores. It uses every core in your processor to give like the best out of your processor. And just process the fastest. No splash takes away the splash screen when you open your game so that stops your game from crashing in some occasions third processor uses all like your processor cores that it should be so it's just similar to this and maximizes your processor and like prioritizes fortnite and no text streaming it it helps the best quality load in but then it can cause unloaded textures i've made a separate video on that if you want to check it out but that's to say if you had a if you have a bad gpu just take this away i'll leave this one last but um now you want to go to your system configuration on this um folder once you've got it open just make sure you copy all of these they're the exact same as mine so have these two unticked selective startup low system services low startup icons on your boot um just ha have it all normal um no safe boot no g just have what unless you copy all of these time out in five seconds and everything else you can just leave once you do that press apply and then press ok now this is a good stuff this is like the final thing you need to do just to maximize your game and that's um enable an ultimate power like performance so what you guys want to do i'll show you guys that you do not probably don't have this but the way you can check so open up um edit power plan here and then go back to where it says power options and then you should just see balanced high performance and power saver this is where you went wrong and you should have this one this is like you need to enable this in the command log so i'll show you how, how to do that now all performance all all performance just gives you the literally the ultimate performance so how you do that you want to go into this little ultimate power command um notepad here and just copy all of this command here so just copy it or control c now you can cross out um now open up this here the windows powershell open it run as administrator Press yes, and now this is gonna open. All you guys gotta do is Control V to paste, and then it will just look. It should work if it goes yellow here. Press Enter, and then it's gonna say all of this, whatever, whatever that says, and in brackets it'll say ultimate performance. That means you've got it. Now you can just cross out of it, and now you guys wanna go to the same thing you was at before. Um, power plan, edit power plan, power options, and then now when you you probably have to go like this, drag it down, and then yeah, it'll say ultimate performance. Now it'll probably be unbalanced or high or may, like if you're lucky, it'll probably already be in high performance. Now you guys are just 
got to do select this one and then there you go now you've got the all performance on your higher end pc but that's not the case even if you have a lower npc you're just going to get the most performance and it's just going to be better every game so it's quality it's performance over quality always now you done that cross out and now um the final thing you want to do you basically did all of it what you guys want to do see this right here you want to drag it onto your desktop and um you want to use this i'll i've pinned mine to my taskbar right here you want to use this every time you open up your fortnite this is timing resolution and what it does it um basically maximizes you put like the input lag and what what you get an output to your game by maximize i actually mean like it decreases input lag so any like loose frames input lag you're getting into your game which is like making the game feel not as smooth and everything's just a bit slower and not reacting as fast this is going to stop that so every time you open your game it literally takes nothing out of your cpu takes out no memory just before you open up your fortnite or open it through the epic games launcher double click this press maximum and then open it and then when you're finished playing fortnite just press default and then cancel it you can use this on any hard hitting applications like photoshop or premiere pro but fortnite is like highly recommended so yeah open it it's literally so easy press maximum and open your game